What's up, Gunji Gamers? Today is going to be a little bit of a different video, considering that um Rose Kaiju Roblox games are down due to Toho. I'm um, the um just keeping them private. We are going. Oh, and besides that Kaiju Battle Royale, because that's a good game, we are going to be doing something different. And it's about time I do this because we have so many Godzillas. But today we are going to be ranking all Godzillas on the tier list. Now, as uh, now I've counted how many Godzillas there were, and there are 53 Godzillas we have to cover. So this is gonna take a long time. But you know what? We have we have to do this. It's time. We, it's time I do this tier list and see what how where I rank the Godzilla. So let's just go ahead and get started. But before we start, please make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell, some some any videos, and I uh, oh sorry and I. <laughs> What the heck? Alright, so let's just go ahead and get into this tier list. Alright guys, so we're just going to go ahead and get started with this tier list. Now starting off, you know, the OG Godzilla 1954 or aka Gojira. I mean, how could you not put him in Godly Go- oh, 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 oops, we're not putting him in also, we're putting him in Godly Goji Tastic. Cause he's the very first one and he has a very good design. So, of course it's gotta go in the Godly Goji Tastic. So anyways, we have got Godzilla 1955 now, aka the man in the suit, um, so, uh, he kinda looks a little slim, but you know what, it, it, it's awesome, it, you know, it's, it's, it's just great, it's the second Godzilla, so we have to give him respect. Alright, now, we got King Kong vs. Godzilla, and I guess he looks sort of okay, I mean, his face looks lizard-like, cause, I mean, that's what he is, but, but, I mean, he does have a very cool atomic breath, um, you know, his design is cool, so yeah, he's just gonna go, gonna go into okay. Wait, now that I think about it, I'm gonna change the color. There we go. That's more, that's more suited. Alright, now we got Godzilla 1964 from Mothra vs. Godzilla and Ghidorah the Three-Headed Monster. And honestly, I think he looks okay. I, I don't know. Just some of the Showa era is just kinda, kinda bad. Just some of the Showa era. But, yeah, he's just gonna go into okay, because, I mean, he fought Mothra, but we're not here for the fights, we're here for the designs. He has, um, his, he has his classic dorsal plates that could look the same, so, yeah. Alright, now we got Godzilla 1965, and honestly, uh, I'm, pro I'm probably gonna have to put him in bad. He's still a cool Godzilla, it's just, I, I don't know, his face looks very weird. It's, his body is okay, it's just his face. Alright, so, yeah, we just, we, we gotta put him in bad, it's just his face, and he has some bad movies that, that this design did in. So, alright, now, anyways, you know we gotta do it. We have to add a new role for this next, uh, sort, for this, for these two monstrosities. Alright, the, the same... Uh, wait, no, no. The same level of nasty as Manila. Alright, there we go. Alright, now we're putting them in there. Because I do not like these Godzillas. They are terrible. They are terrible Godzillas. I I'm sorry, Prime Still 23, for watching this. I know he's your favorite, but I, I just gotta do it, man. They're terrible. Look, it says the same level of nasty as Manila. Alright, let me fix the, um, the A in the middle. All right, there we go. All right, now we got Godzilla 1968, and honestly, I guess yeah, I guess he's okay. I mean, it's just his face overall. I mean, his face looks. You know what? We're gonna put him in great because he he's very cool. All right, so yeah, he's just he just has his regular dorsal plates as the rest of the Showa era. But I mean, we got one more from the Showa era, and that is Godzilla vs. Megalon, um, or Megalogoji from 1973 to 1975. And honestly, I'm gonna put him in awesome. I like his design. His his face looks silly, and he just has his regular old dorsal plates. His body is very muscle-like. I know it's not very muscle-like, but yeah. All right, now, oh my, no, no, no. I don't want to deal with these guys. We got Hanna-Barbera, Godzilla, and we got Godzuki. These are two are terrible. We gotta put, we gotta put them. You no, know, actually, they're not, they're, they're better than, um, Godzilla 1967 and Manila, but we gotta put them in Horrid. They're just bad. They're just bad, man. I just don't like them. 
Alright, and now, now this is one that I wanted to add in here. We got the, um, the Godzilla from the Godzilla vs. Charles, Charles Barkley commercial. And honestly, you know we gotta put him in Goji Tassi. I mean, he's a professional basketball player. <laughs> we gotta put him in Godly Goji Tassi, cause he is the king. He, 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 he could absolutely slam Charles Barkley in a, a basketball game. I know Charles Barkley is a pre professional basketball player, but you know what? Since, eh, I'll just put him right, right behind Godzilla. Alright, now we got Godzilla 1984, and honestly, this is awesome. It's just his face overall, it's just a whole issue. But the rest of his body is, it's, it's undescribable. It's outstanding. That's why it's gonna go into awesome. Like, it's just his body. No, 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 not his body. It's just his head. It just looks a little dark, a little derpy, but that's why, that's just why it's gonna go into awesome. Yeah, because, I mean, his dorsal plates look very cool. Alright, anyways, we got uh, Bio Goji, aka Godzilla vs. Um, from Godzilla vs. Biolante. And honestly, I'm gonna put him into um, Awesome as well. I mean, you know, he, he kind of looks like the rest of the Heisei era Godzillas, but it's just that pointy head, that pointy Patrick head. <laughs> All right now we got the oh no we got the Godzilla source. I'm just gonna put him in bad. He still looks cool. Just I, I don't know. He, I mean he is a dinosaur just like minus one, but I don't know. It just looks off. Looks like a T Rex. It just looks like a ripped off T Rex. All right, but anyways we got Godzilla 1991 from the same movie as the Godzilla source. And honestly I'm gonna put him in gray. It's just this pointy head. I mean, you know what? Nah, we're gonna put him in. Uh, yeah, we'll just put him in awesome, right behind Godzilla. Nah, we'll just um leave him. You know, actually, we're gonna put him at the top of awesome because he he's awesome overall. He has a nice, very looking design. He looks very bulky. He has a nice atomic breath, and that's why he's just gonna go in awesome. It's just this pointy Patrick head, just like '89. All right, now we got Godzilla 1992, and honestly, they're all the same. But, you know what, this one looks a little good, so we're gonna go into, so we're gonna put it into Godly Gudgeon Testing. Because he's amazing, he's amazing. I know I haven't seen Godzilla vs. Uh, Mothra and Batra, but, you know, his design is, uh, uh, his, his design is very good. That's why it's gonna go into Godly Gudgeon Testing. Alright, now, here is one of my, I think it's my second favorite Godzilla. This, the Godzilla from this movie is amazing. Alright, we got Godzilla 1993 from Godzilla vs. Mechagodzilla 2, and oh my goodness, the movie was amazing, and the design was amazing, we have got to put him into Godly Goji-tastic, man, like, just seriously, oh man, even above Godzilla vs. Charles Barkley Godzilla, he is so good, he, look at this dorsal fence, it looks like the Heisei Godzilla we all know, I just love the movie, alright, now we got Baby Godzilla, Immediate Goji, immediately, immediate God, Godly Goji Tassi. He's adorable. And that's the only reason why he's gonna go into Godly Goji Tassi. He's adorable. Alright, now we got Space Godzilla. Oh man, we have got, we have got a, I know he um, doesn't look like Godzilla, but he has Godzilla in his name, and he kinda looks like Godzilla. So, yeah, well, that's why, that's why we put him in there. Alright, he's gonna go into Godly Goji Tassi. He's amazing, this movie. He's amazing in Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla. He uses his crystals to attack Godzilla, and uses his Corona Beam, and he has a very nice design. Just the crystals on his shoulders, the the dorsal fins on his back, and the tail, or a spike at the end of the tail, and pretty much, yeah, that's why he's gonna go with the Godzilla Goji Tassi. Alright, now we got little Godzilla. Oh my goodness, man. He has got to go to Godzilla Goji Tastic. He's adorable, just like Baby Godzilla. Same, the same stuff. And he's adorable, and that's why he's just gonna go in the Godly Goji Tastic. Now we got, oh boy, man. We got Bird and Godzilla 1995, aka the one from um, Godzilla vs. Destroyer. And we have gotta put him in Godly Goji Tastic. Above Space Godzilla, but not 93, because 93 is one of my favorite Godzilla movies. But yeah, his design is amazing. I love all the um, I love all the burning spots he has and his dorsal fins. And he pretty much just looks the same as '93. But he looks, he looks so good, man. I I just like '93 more than Burning Godzilla. Okay, so 
We've got Godzilla Jr. And just for XTP the Penguin, we gotta put him in Godzilla Go to Tessa. I mean, you know, Godzilla Jr., he's he's very cool. Just for XTP X the Penguin. Because, I mean, Godzilla Jr. solos. Just keep that in your mind. Keep that in your mind for the rest of the video. And you don't have to do it, but Godzilla Jr. solos. He solos the entire Godzilla franchise. Now, we got Godzilla 1998, and I think he's insanely underrated. Everybody everybody just doesn't like the movie, but I think it's very good. That's why it's going to go above Little Godzilla, because his design is amazing. Alright, so here are ones that people seem to forget. We have Zilla's babies who were asexually reproduced. Alright, I guess they're going to go into... Okay, I guess? I mean, they look like raptors. I guess they're better than 68 through 72. And, I mean, don't get mad at me. It's my opinion. Oh, yeah, this is my opinion, guys. All right. So, yeah, we are going to put them in the gray because they honestly look okay for baby Godzilla's, um, for um, Zilla, because they look exactly like Godzilla, uh, Zilla 1998. So, I mean, yeah, that's why they're going to go in the gray. That's, is it, they're just, they're just overall amazing. Alright, now we got Zilla from Godzilla the series, and he is goji tastic man. I like his, um, I, I, overall his design is like, it's kind of better than 1998, so he's gonna go above Zilla in 1998. I mean, he has an atomic breath, but Zilla is overall cool without an atomic breath, but Zilla's just better with an atomic breath. So, I mean, he has a very cool design, about the same as Zilla 1998, so, I mean, yeah, yeah. Here are the horde ones, and here are the, the same level of nasty as Manila. <laughs> or actually, we're gonna put Manila at the top of um the same level of nasty as Manila. <laughs> I mean, we have to, man. They're terrible. All right, now we got Godzilla 2000. He is amazing. I love his dorsal fins, and they're very cool. Overall, he's just gonna go into awesome. His he has these large large claws. Um, he has the head that we all know of Godzilla. And his dorsal plates are amazing. So, yeah. Alright, here's um the Mega Gears Godzilla 2000. And, uh, I, I don't know. His, his, green, his green skin is kind of okay. His dorsal fins are cool. It's just his skin. It's just green. It doesn't look right on Godzilla 2000. Alright, next up, we got G and K Godzilla. And honestly, he is um, he's, he's about as fat as me. <laughs> But anyways, we're gonna put him into um, we're gonna put him up, up to um, um, uh, like under uh, 90, 90, 1984, sorry, but over um, 1955 because he's amazing. This movie, he was made up of the um, dead souls of the soldiers of World War Two, and it's just overall amazing. But we're here for the design. I know he looks fat. <laughs> I know if I say he looks fat, but I think he looks very cool. Alright, 2002. Alright, we immediately have to put him in Godly Goji Tassi. He's amazing. Alright, let's just put him put him up all the way to the top of Goji Tassi. I'm sorry, X to be the penguin. I have to do it. Alright, we have to put him in Godly Goji Tassi first. Because he is amazing. Dude, his dorsal fence and wolf, wolf, his wolf face, they're so cool, man. Just look at 2002. How could you not put him in Godly Goji Tastic? He's amazing. All right, all right. Next up, we got Godzilla Final Wars, and he's gonna go into um Godly Goji Tastic as well. Um, probably above Zilla 19 um or Zilla the series. But yeah, Final Wars is pretty good. All right, no, no. Actually, for Shinori German Godzilla, we're gonna put um Final Wars and Godly Goji Tastic because that's his number one favorite Godzilla. Alright, but anyway, I mean, he has a very cool design, so, we're, oh no, we got Manila, man, I will say, he is kind of better than, um, um, the one we don't talk about, but I guess he's gonna go into Horrid, I, actually, we'll put him in, we'll put him in the okay, I mean, he looks fine for a Manila, just that other one, though, alright, <laughs> sorry guys, I have to do it, I just don't like Manila. But, yeah, he is okay overall. But, yeah, we're going to go ahead and do, um, uh, this is um, actually a cameo from um, Always Sunset on 3rd Street 2, or how wh whatever the movie's name is. And, obviously, he kind of looks like, kind of looks like Minus One. 
So he's gonna go into grade over. Yeah, actually, all the up to the top of the grade, to the top of grade, because overall his design's okay. It, he got his head, his face kind of looks like GMK Godzilla, but only he's way less skinnier. <laughs> and his dorsal fins are very cool, even though he appears in the movie for like only a few seconds. But that's the reason why he's so famous. He just appears. That's why Always Sunset on Third Street Two is so famous, because he appears in the movie. All right, next up, we have now we are now moving into monsters territory. But even though other, these other Godzilla are um, Toho, but we got Godzilla 2014, and honestly, I'll put them I'll put them at the top. Of, I'll put them at, I'll, I'll put them over them Zilla 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 babies. But because I mean, his dorsal fins are kind of a little too small, and overall, um, you know. People say that Monster vs. Godzilla in 2014 is a little fat, but overall, he's a pretty cool Godzilla. Alright, next up, oh no. We are putting this at the at below of the same level of nasty as Manoa. Actually, we're going to put him over it because oh, we, we got to do it, man. We have to. Look at this guy. He's so horrible. Uh, actually, Shin Godzilla is just overall terrible. But Shin Godzilla is a pretty cool Godzilla overall. It's just his first form and second form, though. We don't talk about those. And yes, I did forget to add the fifth form of Shin Godzilla, but that's a human, so we'll just add him. So we'll just, you know what? Yeah, I mean he's just a human. He, he's a humanoid overall. He's Shin's fifth form, apparently. I don't know why it's his fifth form, but overall. This guy is going to go into save the same level of nasty as Manoa to the top of it, actually. Alright, next. Oh, oh, no, no, not more not more ugly ones. Nasty like Manila. Nobody likes Kamatican. Nobody likes him. Nobody likes him. Nobody likes him. Wait, who likes him? I know some people do, but... Oh, man, jeez. Made of trees. And yeah. Alright, now we got oh we got Scarlet Godzilla Earth. I have not I, I know I haven't seen any of the anime Godzilla Earth, but overall, well he's about the um actually we'll just put we'll just put him under Space Godzilla because nobody is as cool as Space Godzilla. <laughs> I mean he's one of my favorite Heisei villains, besides Super Mega Godzilla and Destroyer. But yeah, Scarlet um Scarlet form of Godzilla Earth is pretty cool, he's better than the um, his original form. So, yeah. Alright, next. Ooh, this is one I really like. We have got Godzilla 2019. He's one of, uh, I guess this is my third favorite Godzilla movie. My second favorite is Godzilla vs. Mecha Godzilla 2. But, yeah, he's going under 2002. If, yeah, there we go. He's going under 2002 because he's um, my third favorite. Actually, Heisei is actually my third favorite Godzilla. And, and, Legendary Godzilla is my fourth one because Heisei overall has a very cool design. So I guess we'll put 93 above 
uh, monsters. Oh, so, I mean, yeah. So, uh, next up, we got Burning Godzilla 2019, and I know some people call him Thermo Godzilla, but I just like to call him Burning Godzilla 2019. Alright, we're gonna put him into, uh, obviously, go to Castle. So, I mean, we have to defend. I mean, he's not as cool as Space Godzilla, but he's just very cool. He's better than Scarlet Godzilla Earth, and but not as better, not as cool as Space Godzilla. So he's uh, in between Scarlet form of Godzilla Earth and Space Godzilla. Alright, anyways, oh no, we got Godzilla Ultimus forms now. Uh, as as if we ha haven't had to deal with Shin's ugly forms, but. His forms are somewhat better. I guess we'll put this one in just bad. He looks so fat, man. I know he's supposed to be an Aquatus form, uh, but overall he's just too fat, man. I don't know how we gain weight. Alright, now, ooh, we got the his Amphibia form. He is going to the top of okay. I mean, overall he's just a hideous. Looks like Ver Veron, the, um, the um, unbelievable. And, and he just looks okay. He has this nice scary look to him. This, this, it's just his face. And it's just his body. He he's, still looks a little fat, but overall, he's an okay, he's an okay form of Godzilla Ultima. Right, next up, uh, ooh, we, we're gonna put him at the uh, top of grade, because Godzilla Ultima's uh, terrestrial form is very cool. And I like his blue form, whatever he uh, charges up his top of breath. But his atomic breath is just, it's just a reek. But overall design is great. Uh, it's just his face. What is it with uh, all these Godzilla's faces that make him, that make him uh, below the top of the tier list? Yeah, I just, I, I just, I'm just not sure about um, Terrestrial Ultima's face. It's something. But anyways, now we've got um the, um, the true form. No, not the true form. That's where he's way more powerful. Well, we've got Godzilla Ultimus um fourth form. I I think we'll put him um we'll put him uh you know what we'll we'll put him um under Charles Barkley Godzilla because I I'm just not I mean he has a very cool design. He has a very cool tail. He has thick thighs. Obviously, it's just his face overall. It's just something. Actually. We'll put him, um, 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 at the top of us, because overall, he's, I don't know, it's just his face, and his thighs, it's, it's, it's something, man. Alright, next up, we got Godzilla 2021. He's, he looks about the same as Godzilla 2019, so that's why he's just gonna go, um, under 2019. Because, um, Legendary Godzilla 2019 looks a whole lot better. I know, um, Legendary Godzilla 2021 looks skinnier, but, uh, it's just... You know, I, I just, I just think he's, um, let, you, you know, I just think that 2019 is better. But, alright, next, oh, duh, duh, alright, on a minute. We gotta put him at the top. Well, actually, we'll put him right, right here. Better, better than Legendary Godzilla. Doug is good. Alright, Doug Solos and Godzilla Jr. Solos. Uh, actually, Doug and Godzilla Jr. Solo, because they're an unbeatable duo. Alright, next up, we got Godzilla Rex, aka, um, I know some people don't think this, but I think it is. We have the adult form of Godzilla Jr., and obviously, uh, he's about as cool as Heisei Godzilla. We'll put him, like, somewhere, we'll put him, um, up, um, under Zilla, because, uh, obviously, uh, honestly, it's just, it's just his face. I know Zilla has a big chin, but I think that, um, I just think that, um, Gemstone is like a blessing. Yeah, actually, I, I'm sorry I keep changing my mind, guys. We'll just put him above all the other Zillas because obviously he has an atomic breath, which is very destructive and very powerful. He has that supercharged form of this, and obviously he's just he's just an overall cool Godzilla. I, I hope we get to see more of him, and we possibly can because it's Mecha Godzilla's 50th anniversary this year. So we'll possibly get to see um some some of uh, more of Gemstone Godzilla on November third. But anyways, we got um we've got the uh, minus one Godzilla Gore Source. And uh, honestly, he is extremely cool. He is uh, actually we'll just put him um below legendary Godzilla and and he's he just an overall cool dinosaur. He's better than the last he's better than the last um Godzilla Source. Ugh. I mean, he has very cool, he has a very cool face, 
His body, his body um, structure is very cool. His dorsal fins are very sharp and jagged. And I love it. Next up, oh man, man. We're just gonna go ahead. We're just gonna go ahead and get this over with. Minus one is going to the very t tip, the tippy top of Goji Tastic. He is the best Godzilla, and he he was literally in one of the best movies ever made. Minus one truly deserves an Oscar for best movie ever made. Look at Godzilla. How could you not put him at the top of Godly Goji Tastic? How? How could you not? Dude, minus one is so cool. And I and I hope that um Takashi Yamazaki makes a sequel. I know he's planning to make a sequel, but you, you know, he's he's somewhere somewhere in there. So yeah, Godly Goji Tastic, obviously for minus one. Right, anyways, we've got um the ones from Godzilla X Kong and New Empire, and so um la second second to last we got Evolved Godzilla, and honestly he's better than he's better than Ultima. I just don't like how he's pink. I mean, if he had a blue dorsal fence, it would have been cooler and a blue atomic breath, but I mean it would make it still make him look the same as 2014. So I I guess that's why they made him pink. I mean he still would look a, a little different than 2014 because 2014 has honestly has like way shorter dorsal fins but yeah overall uh, but anyways overall evolved Godzilla is an awesome but anyways we got the nuclear pulse Godzilla from Godzilla X called as well like uh, we have got to put him we have got to put him under Doug obviously because Doug is goaded but we got to put him at the top of the legendary Godzilla's because he is an, he is very cool and I cannot wait to see Godzilla duke it out with his nuclear pulse in the movie or actually i just like to call it atomic pulse but yeah oh man just look at him his design is very cool it kind of looks like burning guns on 2019 only he's just blue and way better so yeah the overall here let me let me just um, do something so you can see the entire tier list all right here is my entire tier list of the day I hope you all enjoy this video, and yeah, lastly, this is this is my opinion. So just be sure to um just be sure to not comment anything before you um before you plan to threaten me. <laughs> but any but anyways, these are all the guys. Let's just go over all of them. So of course you have minus one, two thousand two, Heisei Godzilla, Doug, which is Cody, the Atomic Pulse Godzilla, Legendary Godzilla. Legendary Godzilla 2019 and 2021, the minus one Gorosaurus, and Godzilla Jr. Godzilla Jr. Solos, and Final Wars, which is Shindari German Godzilla's favorite, and then 1954 Burning Godzilla, Space Godzilla, or 1995 Burning Godzilla, Space Godzilla, who is cool, very cool, Burning Godzilla 2019, Scarlet Form Godzilla Earth, Base Form Godzilla Earth, Adult Godzilla Jr. Zilla, Zilla Jr., Zilla 1998, Little Godzilla, Baby Godzilla, Charles Barkley, Godzilla vs. Charles Barkley, Godzilla, who's the GOAT, the massive GOAT, and, and, you know, we got, we got Godzilla 1992, and, and, and so they're all in Godly Goji Tastic. Look how many of them are in Godly Goji Tastic, by the way. There's so many. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 21, 22, 23. So most of these, um, so, so, most of these Godzilla's are in Godly Godzilla's Tastic. 23 of them. Wait, let me recount. Yeah, we got, alright, we got them all. Alright, now on to Awesome. We have got Evolved Godzilla going to the top of Awesome, obviously, because he's very cool. If, if, if they kept his, um, it's just that he's pink. He's pink, overall. That's why it's just in the Awesome. That's the light thing. Right. So next up, we got Godzilla Ultima going b uh, b below um, Evolve Godzilla. Um, Godzilla 1991, Godzilla 1989, Godzilla 1984, Shin Godzilla 4th Form, GMK Godzilla, Godzilla 1955, aka The Man in the Suit, Godzilla 1973 to 1975, Godzilla 2000, or Godzilla Millennium. And so this is the great one. Alright, next up. Is the now this is the awesome room. Next up is in the great room. All right, now we got Godzilla um, Ultima's terrestrial form, 
We got Always Sunset on Third Street 2 from Godzilla. Godzilla 2014. Godzilla, Godzilla's Asexually Reproduced Babies. And Godzilla 1968 to 1972. And Godzilla vs. Megan Gears Gucci. Alright, so this is the great world. So now we're going to the okay row, which is they're slightly okay and they're bad at the same time. But you know, I mean they're they're all all Godzillas are cool except for these ones that horrid, nice like Manila at the same level of nasty as Manila. Alright. So now we got um Godzilla Godzilla Ultimus Amphibia form, which honestly it kinda looks okay. Alright, 1962, King Kong vs. Godzilla, Godzilla. Alright, Godzilla 1964, Shannon Godzilla, which is Shane Godzilla's third form, and Manila 2004 from Final Wars, and this is just the okay row, there's five of them in here. So now on to the bad ones, they're just bad. Right, well, not as bad as these ones, all the way at the bottom. <laughs> all right, so now we got Godzilla 1965, it's just his face overall, the Godzilla Saurus, and then we got Godzilla Ultimus, um, Wait, what's it called? The Aquatus form. Alright, so this is just a bad row. There's three of them. Oh, wait, actually, look! We have one, two, three, oh, well, five, six. So it's kind of like one, two, three. Alright, alright, next up we get the Horde section, which, which there's, there's just two. Yeah, but, no, it's just, it's just Hanna-Barbera, Godzilla, and Godzuki. They're very bad Godzilla. And yeah, their atomic breaths are weak, they're dumb, they're they're just, they're not long enough. Godzilla, Godzilla's atomic breath is just not long enough. And Godzuki is just way too thin. Alright, nasty like Manila. Oh, Kamanakan. I'm sorry to all Kamanakan fans. But only for the memes, I like Kamanakan. That's why he's a nasty like Manila instead of, um, this hideous row. But this is just the only one nasty like Manila. Kamanakan is an okay, is an okay Godzilla. It's just the memes. Like that make it better. Um, here is the the worst Godzilla of all time. The same level of nasty as Manila. There are top three ones. Is number three of the bronze medal goes to Godzilla 1967. His face is so derpy. I just don't like him. Right, now we got Godzilla Manila, and he obviously goes into number two. Why would anybody like this dude? I right, just. Uh, number that's just the silver medal, and our gold medal of worst Godzilla ever goes to number number one form of Shin Godzilla. He's fat. He's ugly. His legs are way too thick. Just he's the number he's the number one worst Godzilla, and minus one is the number one best Godzilla. So this is my overall. Wait, let me just let me just wait. Right, there we go. Here is my list of all the Godzilla designs, right from worst to best. Actually, just not from best to worst, not from worst to best. So yeah, here is my Godzilla design tier, all the t my Godzilla ranking design on the tier list. And I hope you all enjoyed. And please do not get mad at me for. Yeah, I mean this is my opinion. Just calm down, okay? But yeah, this is my overall. This is my overall Godzilla design tier list. I ranked all of them from Godly Gojitastic to the same level of nasty as Manila. All right, so we got minus one and number one best. We got um, yeah, the first, the first form of Shin Godzilla is the number one worst. But yeah, overall, the all of these Godzillas are very cool except for the ones that are up, like up below. Okay. Because um, mostly all the other the, these other Godzillas are very cool. So, anyways, that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit like, button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so I'm on the videos. And I will see you all tomorrow. Bye, guys.